We have been taught that the Edinger Westphal nucleus is the accessory oculomotor nucleus whose neurons send preganglionic cholinergic fibers to the ciliary ganglion and plays the major role in pupillary reaction and accommodation of the crystalline lens. This accessory oculomotor nucleus is named after Ludwig Edinger and Carl Westphal who demonstrated the presence of these neurons in the midbrain. Both of them were Germans. Edinger was an anatomist and neurologist while Westphal was a psychiatrist. So what has now happened to the Edinger Westphal nucleus? The Edinger Westphal nucleus is situated in the midbrain at the level of the superior colliculus adjacent to the main oculomotor nucleus. As seen in this midbrain dissection, this is the superior colliculus and it is at this level the oculomotor complex including the Edinger Westphal nucleus is situated. This is a schematic representation of the cross section of the midbrain at the level of the superior colliculus as I have learned during my undergraduate period and during my masters in ophthalmology. Our professor and vitreoral surgeon Dr. Nui Chandrasekhar made us draw this several times and thanks to him I still have a fairly good idea about the midbrain. As seen here the ocular motor complex is in the periaqueductal grey and adjacent to it are the Edinger Westphal nucleus and the nucleus of Perlia. Recent retrograde tracer and connection studies as well as neurochemical analysis show that there are two distinct groups of neuronal collections that contribute to Edinger Westphal nucleus. Unlike in other primates, the cytoarchitecturally defined Edinger Westphal nucleus does not contain any preganglionic cholinergic fibers. Instead, they project centrally to different parts of the brain and even to the spinal cord. They also receive inputs from various central pathways. These neurons do not contribute to any ocular function. They are involved in stress response and regulation of food and alcohol consumption. They are called Edinger Westphal nucleus centrally projecting or EWCP. Whereas the preganglionic fibers that really supply the ciliary ganglion arise from an ill-defined group of neurons anteromedial to the oculomotor nucleus. They are cholinergic and serve the function of the classically defined Edinger Westphal nucleus controlling the pupil and lens accommodation. These group of neurons are called Edinger Westphal nucleus preganglionic or EWPG. Thus, to the surprise of many researchers, Edinger Westphal nucleus has been found to be involved in stress-related activity and regulation of alcohol and food consumption in addition to being the final common pathway for the control of lens accommodation and pupillary constriction. The designation of Edinger Westphal nucleus thus has become more confusing nowadays because it refers to two neuroanatomically and functionally distinct neuronal population, namely a cholinergic peripherally projecting motor neuron population that mediates pupil and lens control as well as a peptidergic centrally projecting cell group with no known role in ocular function. And to the great neuroscientists Edinger and Westphal, a big salute. They identified these group of cells that are named after them at a time when technology and techniques were far far inferior to the ones that we have now. Every new discovery of the brain gives us a little peek into its mystery. But with each breakthrough that we make into its miraculous design, it throws more questions and thus the never-ending quest for knowledge continues.